Hi guys, it's your more girl and welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, how are you doing? Well, today I just want to do a quick vlog to let you know my upcoming project and a couple of um, DIYs I'm going to do over, which is two of my paintings. So, um, a while ago I did two paintings. One was a long rectangular one, which is over here. And what I did was I did this painting and I'm going to redo this one, but I want to talk about the one I want to do the last one, the big one that I have hanging up. I never got a chance to show you guys what it looked like. So what I want to do is show you the two paintings I want to do. And I finally found the supplies. I was going to do it this December, but we know why again now I didn't do it in December, but also I couldn't find the crushed glass at Michael's. So recently I went back to Michael's last week and found the glass, but guys, guess what else I found? Remember the original Ikea? which is a reflective with black specks in it. Well, guess what Michaels have now? They have a pack like this that's only $6. Very similar, it doesn't have the black specks. And I don't think you need the black specks unless you buy one with black and just sprinkle them in. Look how similar now. So now, this one that was Ikea that's gone, you can now get the same one from Michaels. Okay, and this was $6. So this was $6, but plus I used my 60% off coupon. So that was wonderful. Okay, but guess what else they had? And I'm gonna show you when I go up the aisles. They had this one. This is what I was looking for that I could not find. And this is again by um, Ashland. Okay, you can see that here. This is by Ashland. And this is more clear, okay, compared to this one here. This is reflective, this is more clear. And this is what I use on the painting at the bottom. I use this up top and this at the bottom, but I didn't have enough. So I want to, even though I did all that texture, it's gonna go to waste now. Um, what I'm gonna do is just gonna have it all glitter coming down. Like the first one, which the reflective glass to come down, kind of going up and down. Then from that point, I'm gonna add this and fill up the canvas going straight down not quite down to the bottom. So it's gonna be glitter and all that texture I did, oh well. So this is gonna be like a redo and I hope it comes out right because once you do it, that's it, it's over. You have ruined your painting. But guess what else I, but, but guess what else I found? Blue. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that, gorgeous. So I'm thinking I'll do this one here over. I'll do this over. I don't like how it came this thick out. That's why I didn't like it. I love the paint technique that I did, but I wanted it to be slender and more straight. So I'm thinking if I did this, either use all the clear on this or add some of the blue to pop it out. Okay, so I don't know yet. So, but always what I do is I'll throw it on here first, see what it looks like. If it doesn't look right, I'll take it off. Always practice first, even though this was like a practice piece, you know, again, I don't like how it swooped all the way over here. I want to do it again, kind of over here, and I hope I can get the same exact reflective technique, okay? So this is the one I want to do, and this is going to go in my bedroom, over my television, or over my bed, okay? So when that's done... I'm going to um, do it over. So let me know, guys, if you want me to do it over again. I don't know if you want to see the whole thing again. I'm not sure. If not, I'll just do it. I'm not sure if I want to record or not. So let me show you the other one. Also, what I got was some more glitter. This time I got the two-tone. I got the thicker one here, this side. And then I got the fine one here. Okay? And along with this one. This is sort of like in between the two. So this is like the thick, almost round Okay, this one here is a little more fine, and then this one here. What I'm still looking for is the iridescent. So I really need the iridescent. Okay, the third thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do is the blue one, and I'm gonna show you exactly where I'm gonna put that one. Now the blue one, as gorgeous as this will look on that blue one that I showed you at Z Gallery, and I'll show it right over here. It doesn't have crushed glass on it, and I think I'm just gonna do it exactly the way that, well, close to what Z Gallery did, the artist which was to paint it, texture, paint it, and just use um, glitter, which will probably end up being the fine glitter. This one, and when I find the iridescent, I don't know where to get it. I'm gonna look at Hobby Lobby's because Michaels didn't have the iridescent. The only one that I had was in actually that big pack, but I just wanted to get a container like this. They probably just ran out, so that is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna bring you over 
to my paintings that I never showed you guys. I'm so sorry. You know I'm pretty bad sometimes. And show you what I want to do. All right. And where I hung it. Okay. And then I'll show you where I'm going to hang the blue one. This one here in the back will be in a bedroom. And again, with my color lights and my light TV that lights up in the back. I don't know. I think that blue will pop it more than just the gray. Even though it's going to be gray. I think I have it at sort of like this. Almost like an ice blue. I think that will really pop that silver out. All right, guys, let's go over. Okay. So I'm going to take you over here. Okay. And the thing is, I like about these because when I have my light here, my light changes colors. So this is a painting I did before. Let me go slow so to stay in focus. But you see, I just need a little more something. I love the top. I love, love the top. You see how that is? But I'm not going to paint because that is black. And then it's the original Ikea, which is the silver reflected with the black speckles. Okay, now I'm going to put the same one without the paint and bring it down to about here. Okay, and then from here, cover this this back up. Just add more to about here. And then stop. And then have it again, jack it up and down. Okay, if you can understand what I'm trying to do. Let me do demonstrate it again. Okay, so let me demonstrate how I'm going to do this again. All right, so I'm going to bring this here, bring it down here, and just have it come here thick. Cover on top of what's already there. Then from this part, keep this same. This is the same clear. Bring this down a little further and keep this here. Just bring it down like this. I just want it to come. So it could be nice and jagged. So this is going to stay in the dark. Hopefully it goes into a medium and then it goes into a light and just kind of sprinkles down. And then it'll catch up with this here and keep this part here. All right, guys, I hope you understand what I meant by that. So now I'm going to take you over the area where I'm going to put the blue one. Okay, so coming over here, this wall here, I want to put the other painting. Um, so I'm going to see how large I can get it. Because, you know, these canvases are really expensive. So, it'll probably be sometime in February, hopefully by the end of February. And I just missed the 70% off yesterday. So, I'm going to have to do another one. So, I'm going to hang it here. You know, as you know, as large as I can get it. That's, of course, reasonable. Not too expensive to get. And just see how it looks from over here. Alrighty, guys. So, that'll be the one that's the Z Gallery one. No crushed glass glitter. And it's going to be blue. Um, yes, I'm doing blue on this side. I don't see why. Be just because it is blue. I think that looks nice. And I like this because, you know, I can change my lights to really match it as well. You see the blue over here. So, guys, you see my vision for what I want to do. The blue one over here. Redo this one here. And then, of course, that one here. And I like it's okay. I'm not loving it. I love the top. I really like the top, but I think I just need it to be sort of matched together, coming down really thick. So, you know, and then the other one will also be textured. It's going to be the same technique. It's going to be textured. I'm going to redo that again and get the same materials. And from the texture, I'm going to spray on top of the texture that's still blue. Um, of course, I'm not going to use the glass, and I'll just use like the iridescent and the silver glitter because I believe that's all they had in the painting. And then the bottom, probably just keep it like a white and bring the texture all the way at the bottom and then keep the bottom probably white or, yeah, probably white. I'm not going to do like a cream color like I did before. I'm going to keep it like a white color. So, guys, that's about it. So, I'm going to, um, and I think that would be my projects for February. Um, also, I was thinking about, you know, going live again. A couple of people were saying, Karen, okay, my DIYer, Karen 1310, she wants me to kind of stream, you know, my previous vlog that I did. So let me know if you want me to go live again. I can do next weekend. And let me know what you want the topic to be. Do you want to be on DIYs? If you have questions, do you want me to do on my weight loss journey? Let me know. My clothes is getting kind of, you know, loose there. So let me know which topic you want to talk about. And I will try to bring that to you probably like next weekend. I like to vlog one like 
usually Sundays, um, people who are probably less busy, either around before dinner or something like that, and after you guys get off from church. So usually I'm um, West Coast, you East Coasters, I figure something about five, six, which means it'd be about two or three, the West Coast time. Um, people in other countries, I have no idea. <laughs> so um, yes, yeah, so I finally got all my supplies now, because that took a while to get. And uh, like I said, the only thing I have to do now is get the um, iridescent, and I also have, you know, my poron, which I'll show you because I still have some leftover from this project. A lot of you guys are asking me, can I use Gorilla Glue? Now you might, I don't know, I haven't used it. I have never bought Gorilla Glue. And if you do use it, make sure it's clear and make sure it's fluid. And the reason why I like to do um, epoxy is it's fluid. And you can let it sit where it gets a little thicker, but you have like a 10, 15 minute drying time. And after that, it's done. So I like to pour mine on and just let it drizzle down and then put the glitter on that because it kind of just goes where it wants to go. With the glue, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be so thick and then when you pour it, it's just going to come out really slow. I don't think it's going to give you the same effect. I don't know. And I don't think I would want to just drizzle it with a cap on it like a regular glue. So it's up to you. Um, but again, I use epoxy. I've showed you plenty of times on my other videos. It's just part one, part two, put them together, stir it up. That's it. You know, some people are still intimidated by that. You could try Gorilla Glue or other glues and just see if it's more thinner, you know, as far as using any type of Mod Podge. No, that, that glass is Crushed glass is just too heavy for that. I can't imagine it. You could try it, but I think when you lift it, you, you're not going to get the same effect. So I would not suggest using Mod Podge. I think it's too thick. Mod Podge for glitter, yes. Glass, no. Okay, uh, again, I haven't tried it, but I don't think I would want to try it. So guys, I don't want to keep you long. I just want to show you what was coming on. Um, this week, I'm going to vlog my next... I'm trying to try to do... I wasn't going to do like the... Um, the journey but you guys want to know what's going on and I see that we all the same age and we struggle from the same thing so um, I'm going to do this one this week on exercise um, start the DIY next week do one on what I eat show you you know what I buy and what I eat how much I eat and um, and how I'm doing with my progress um, and, and I guess that's about it guys so I it will come back to you in a couple days um and show you you know that that video on the journey and i guess i will see you next week again let me know if you want me to go live i want to tell you that again ahead of time because you guys be missing it and now that youtube has a preview you can see you know with an account there just look for the countdown and it'll tell you exactly when i'll probably put it out there like thursday and it'll count down the days that it will actually go um, live. So that way you won't miss it and you'll be prepared and it won't be a surprise because some of you guys get so upset when you miss it and then you just miss me or I shut off and then you guys turn on and I apologize for that. All right, guys, this is your more girl. I will see you soon in the next video. So I'll see you in a couple days, okay? All right, probably like maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Wednesday. All right, for the next one for the weight loss journey, and I'll let you know how I go to stats because tomorrow I'm going to the doctor. So I'll let you know what's going on with that and why more girls not losing any weight, okay? I, I, I don't know what's going on, but things are getting bigger. All right, guys, your more girl, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.